In our previous lesson, we have learned how to find slope of a line in the form of y equal mx plus b, where we said m is a slope and b is a y-intercept. Today, we are going to talk about how to find a slope of parallel and perpendicular lines. Firstly, let's say we have two parallel lines such as L1 and L2 and L1 parallel to L2. If we have two parallel lines, then slopes of parallel lines are equal. It means if uh, the slope of L1 is M1 and slope of the L2 is M2, then M1 equal M2. If we have two perpendicular lines such as L1 and L2 and L1 perpendicular to L2, slope of one uh, line equal negative reciprocal of another. For example, M1 equal minus 1 over M2. Now, let's see one example. First, let's remember our formulas y equal mx plus b and we can find slope using formula y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Now, we can go to the example. Line F is shown in the x-ray plane above, so it's a line F. Line G is perpendicular uh, to line F. So let's draw it. It's a perpendicular to line F. We have perpendicular line. Which of the following could be the equation of the line? So what we know about perpendicular lines? Slopes of the perpendicular lines, we said uh, the slope of the one equal negative reciprocal of another. For example, M1 equal minus 1 over M2. So first we need to find a slope of the F. Uh, for this one, we have two points, such 0, 2 and minus 6, 0. Again, we can use this formula, y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2, 2 minus 0 over 0 minus minus 6, and we get the 2 over 6. We can reduce it to the 2, it's going to be 1 over 3. So, slope of the line F is 1 over 3. Now, uh, we have to find slope of the G. Slope of the G is going to be negative reciprocal of the 1 over 3, so it's going to be minus 3. Now, uh, let's go to the options. Uh, pay attention, our equation is uh, not in a form of y equal mx plus b. Firstly, we, we have to write the uh, equation in mx plus b form. So, let's isolate y here. So, for this one, we have to move 6x another side. So, it's going to be minus 6x plus 2. And now, we can divide both sides to the 2. Then, we get here uh, y equal minus 3x plus 1. So, as you see, minus 3 is a coefficient of x, which means it's going to be uh, the slope of the line. And it's going to be slope of the line G because it's minus 0. So A will be correct answer. But easy way to find slope of the line is dividing coefficient of the X to the coefficient of uh, Y. 6 divided to the Y. But pay attention, it's going to be negative side. Another side. So it's going to be negative. So it's going to be minus 3. Thank you for attention.